Hola, aloha, bonjour, bonjour, ni namaste. Oh, hey, you're the most Здравствуйте. Or should I say, здравствуйте. Sin chao. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Brunel. I'm talking a bit fast because I don't want the video to be too, too, too long. Anyway, you've seen the title. So I am testing all three of the powders from RCMA. Um, and just to give you the claim, I'm just going to read the claims from um, the one to do with the no color powder. Um, it says here, a lightweight, finely milled powder, ideal for all skin tones. No color powder is a unique, loose and in the, uh, invisible setting powder. The weightless texture buffs effortlessly into the skin without leaving behind any ashy cast or altering the color of your foundation. Ideal for trends such as baking, the non-caking finish of this uh, for, uh, professionally developed powder is a must-have essential for making your makeup stay all day. So that is the one. So, uh, so I've got my camera is going to focus, so everything is going to go out of shot. So that's this, the first one here, which is this one. Voila. So that's the first one. So there are three of them. The next one is this one which is basically in the same packaging and all it says is RCMA translucent powder. Um, and the third one is this one. Which is basically the RCMA warm gold after powder. Right. Um, basically, they're, they're, they're all similar in, with consistent in regards to consistency. They are similar with regards to the size of, uh, of uh, the, uh, the, 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 the packaging, which is uh, three, um, three ounces, I believe it is. Um, yeah, three ounces for all of them. The differences are the, uh, obviously the uh, no color powder is basically the, the, the base one. The translucent one is the similar to that where they started with the, the no color, but then what they've done is added a bit of color to it to give it more, to make it more flesh toned. Um, and you can use these particular two either as a base or to set your, your, your foundation or your makeup or bake. The final one is slightly different. This one is the uh, warm gold one, which is basically, um, it's, a little, it's a bit more yellow um, and it has, uh, uh, gold speckles but you know um, sparkly bits inside um and and what you're meant to do be able to use it after so you can use it as a, an all over body for you know that glowy gold golden kind of look um for the summertime or you can use use it on your cheeks to apply it and use it as a highlighter um so that's basically the difference so i decided to test the all three of these and see what the differences are, how they felt, whether they really helped keep my, my face matte, which is what they claim to do. Um, and um, yeah, I hope that you enjoy and let's go watch the video. As you can see, my face has already been color corrected. The primer, no, what well, doesn't look weird. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> anyway, the primer that I've got on my face is uh, Becca Ever Matte Poreless. Um, so I've already applied that and I've also done my eyebrows and also got some color correcting with uh, Elegant Orange Corrector. No need to buy another one. I've got another one actually from NYX, but to be honest, it's very, very mattifying and I find it dries up fairly quickly, so I don't use that too often. But that's what I've got on my face. So what I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to start off with is the no color powder because of the fact that although it's got similar claims to the other one which is the translucent one but the difference is as it says here translucent one is basically just a no color powder with a bit of flesh tone to it and for me personally because i'm going to be setting and maybe uh, baking i think mm, we'll see um, um yeah because i'm going to be i decided i'm going to bake um, anyway so i use this but just so you can see it is super super fine it's a very very fine powder this is the no color powder and I'm just gonna rub it onto the skin and see whether it leaves a white cast um, on the face uh, as you can see yeah you do have to rub it in but that's to be fair that's exactly on my on my hand so it may act differently on my face so but it is super super fine if you've got the, the um, Sasha Buttercup or even the Laura Mercier, this is way, way tons of finer than that particular powder. Uh, it is super, super fine. I mean, I would say it's consistency, consistency of uh, icing sugar. Really, really light. Um, it says to do it in sweeping motions. Um, 
because this is not my first time using it um sorry second time filming i had actually filmed the footage and then i lost it completely so i'm having to redo it again so it's no longer a first impression i found that sweeping it didn't quite work for me and especially when you've got large pores um and and maybe you've got you know texturized the skin or it's not that's not particularly smooth i prefer for me to actually pat it in gently in thin layers so just going to apply this all over so it's not bad actually very very thin layer not bad um there's something that's slightly powder slightly powdery look but it's not bad actually it's not showing too badly let's carry on putting it on okay so i put that all over my face now it does say no color but as you can clearly see there is there is something that you can tell is just a bit um eh. <laughs> so i'm glad i actually applied this first uh because uh, no um, you know no thank you so i'm more hopeful for this one which has got a bit of a color to it you do have to sort of um um gently uh put it through your skin for it to kind of a uh, blending more so a bit of work that is needed um but finally finally just as i went off camera to do my face and finish off the postman arrived and he finally brought my foundation the ordinary foundation um which has been out since um, at the end of april is when i ordered it oh my god it finally just arrived i literally opened it initially when i opened i thought mm, this is not going to be right so i'm diversing here and i thought this is not right but you have to look at this look at this right um hopefully you can see the first one here that's the ordinary that one and this one here is my um my makeup uh, for uh, makeup forever in our um uh, in our uh, the 520 cinnamon and um, and that is our it, it is literally a perfect match so the two is our oh. so that's the foundation i'm going to apply on my face now the ordinary one hopefully it works out okay uh come back to you what i'm going to do is put foundation on do the rest of my eye um you know do my put my um highlighter and everything on and um, and then i'm going to come back to you with this particular powder here and apply it all over to set my face going to bake it for a little while whilst i actually do my eye makeup um, and then we'll see we'll finally test the last one here which is the warm gold one which is basically uh, a highlighter so back in the moment after applying the foundation okay i'm back oh looking a bit yellow um well isn't it amazing when you look forward to something and then it goes eh, eh, eh. so i got the foundation with from the ordinary which is the coverage foundation high coverage foundation and i've got 3.1 r um dark red undertone but um although it looks very much similar to the uh the makeup forever they were not quite the same so it was a bit off which is why it's like this so i started off with that and then i thought oh my god this is not going to work so i had to put a different layer and try and work with it and uh, mm, yeah we're gonna have to do a bit more work anyway so we're now going to bake with this one so i've got a bit of contour which is not actually perfected yet so don't worry about it yeah um and um so we're just going to now use the translucent one which as i said is almost the same as the other one. Oh no i'm just about to use the gold the gold one wrong one translucent one is similar so um and i'm just trying to see what the ingredients are basically chalk and mica uh, are the ingredients in here and as i said it's the same as the uh, no color powder it's just with a bit of of uh, skin tone added to it and the skin tone is just off white it's like a like a cream like a soft cream consistency exactly the same as the other one so it's not necessary to get both i would think that you'd have to choose one. Oh, this one is so soft it literally can all oh, feels so velvety um oh it really feels feels velvety over foundation so um let's apply this one 
and in thin layers all over the face and then I'm actually going to bake while I, whilst I finish the rest of my face with my eye makeup and so on which will probably be about 15 to 20 minutes um, and um, we'll see how it goes and how it holds up for the rest of the day. Let's go. So her face uh, is all covered. Now uh, it's 11.33, so probably about nearly 30 minutes. Uh, I'm basically going to allow it to set whilst I do my eye makeup and finish off the rest of my face and put some blusher on um, and sort my, the rest of my face out. Um, I am going to have to use um, a, a kind of a foundation finishing a, a foundation powder. I use that all the time anyway. There's no way I'm going out like this because, you know, <laughs> come on now. This is not why. This is um, this is not white, as in it is white. That's why it's not right. So I'm gonna have to bring some color back into my face. Um, but as you can see, despite they're claiming that it's all okay and doesn't leave any residue or sorry or change the color of your makeup, uh, you can clearly see. The, uh, and I was genuinely putting thin layers. But anyway, I'm gonna go and finish off the rest of my face. Um, yeah, as I said, 11:33, and I'll come back to you when it's all done and give you my opinion so far. Okay, kept faces all done. The time now is eight minutes past 12. So it's been some time to finish everything off. Um, so we're now just gonna try to test this, the final one, which is the warm gold powder, which is the Destiny's Hope and Sparkle, apparently, um, and directions for use. Use all over your body um, for a shimmery look. It's got gold speckles inside. Um, and again, consistency is exactly the same as the others. So they're exactly the same consistency, um, super fine, but it's got gold bits and I hope you, can, uh, you can't really see it. Um, but it is, uh, it is nice. If you're gonna use this as a highlighter, because as I said, I've already filmed this before and it went pear shaped. So if you wanna use this as a highlighter, it is super, super, um, it's gonna be really understated highlighter because it's not, for me, anyway, I find that it's got the gold bits in there. Um, I think it's going to be better for the body than to put around the chest area. If you're wearing something low cut, that would be more um, more appropriate for me as far as I'm concerned. It's a bit too weak as a highlighter. I'm just going to dab it on so you can see um, on the cheekbones. So it's kind of it's yellow. The powder is actually yellow, but as you can see, you can see you can just barely see it you can see there so it's extremely subtle uh, subtle you can you can actually put it all over your face as well actually if you want that kind of glowy look all over the face apparently you can um, no thank you um, but it is something that's not overpowering at all so if that's what you're into fair enough I find that this is actually the powder itself to be honest with this one really disappears into the skin I wish they'd actually made this yellow or warm gold into the without the the, uh, the stuff in there to because that would have been way way better without the gold stuff that would have been fantastic for setting your face because you can see it disappears better than the other two completely way way better than the other two if they make this but without any kind of shine to it I would be down hands down that would be the best one to to buy um, but it's up to you Ooh, it's a bit more shine there you can see that now so now we're just gonna rub it in because we don't want any kind of sharp line but yeah and now I've got a suddenly developed spot to run in so probably not the best so thank god actually I'm using this because you don't want the highlighter that's too powerful when you've got spots on your cheekbones which is really emphasize everything um, but yeah, it's actually quite nice, actually. For, but I'm going, I find myself, I'm going to be using this for the body um, instead. Uh, just to have that sort of goldish, got warm um, glow to the skin. Um, but if you prefer the other weight, then that's fine. It is the most expensive one, which I find surprising. I'm not too sure why, because they're exactly all the same size. But yeah, anyway, I'm all done. 
Uh, we'll see how it goes, whether um, as setting powders are a lot, they're a lot better than others out there. And uh, I'll come back to you later in a few hours and see what my face is like, whether it's still matte or not. I still need to actually spray, uh, set my face with a uh, setting, uh, setting spray. Haven't done that yet, which I do with everything. So that, that's neither here nor there. I don't like the powdery look, so set, using setting spray kind of brings it down quite a bit. Same as if you were to use a Fix Plus, except this actually sets your makeup. Fix Plus doesn't, it just kind of moisturizes the face and takes away the, yeah, the powdery look. Anyway, thank you, and I will see you in a few hours. Good evening, and the time now is uh, 6.51. So I've had this uh, on for about, seven hours or so and in the in the world of the extremely oily that is more than long enough to be able to work out if something is long lasting or not believe me we are talking the extremely oily range here um and you can see my face i mean yes you can see shine you can see a little bit of shine here and just be mindful because i've got a ring light everything's like oh, hallelujah oh, everything's super bright emphasized so therefore it's not really that bad in real life and you can see yes my nose is sort of shiny but look at that yes you can see a bit of shine here and because obviously when the shine comes through then you can see more of the texture on the skin which is not necessarily perfect nobody is mm -hmm. anyway so you but you can see even in around this area that's completely dry as usual even my forehead the, the shine is about there i'm looking here because of a viewfinder sorry but you can see the shine here but here is actually completely perfectly fine the foundation is not separated it's not gone surf um and i think that's what do you think if you are extremely oily and you're looking at my face right now there have been no touch-ups at all nothing i've not blotted not once I've not done anything to my face at all. And this is the result. And you have to take into account that just recently, previous to this, I did a, a, a kind of a video on, uh, on hacks for so extremely oily skin. And in this one, when I applied this, as you notice, I did not put any powder in the foundation, which actually I think does make a difference as well. And also, um, I didn't do any kind of like, you know, put things and then set them first with setting spray and then wait and then let dry and then apply foundation and all, and then and do any of that. So if you were to, if you had the time to add that, all those, you could see what a massive difference that would make. So in conclusion, would I recommend this powder? I would say, absolutely because you can see with that i yes i did bake for probably about half an hour um but that was actually whilst i was doing my makeup so really i it's just maybe a way to try and do your makeup in a different way um you know if you normally do your eyes first and then you do the rest of your face it might be a better idea to actually do the, your face first um obviously you have to be very careful around the eyes because otherwise you don't want to get it too messy um and then bake whilst you're doing your eyes and everything else um and hopefully that should cut down on the time uh but i would definitely recommend this powder now what i would definitely recommend is actually the translucent powder personally not the the most popular one which is the no color powder no color powder one which you as you guys saw, there was a bit of a white shade. Obviously, the darker the skin you are, the more likely you're, you're to get that. So despite those claims, um, for me personally, I still felt there was something that was slightly uh, white-ish. And so the translucent one is basically the same as the no color powder, um, which is this one here. And what all I've done really is put a bit of color in there to make it a bit more flesh tone. It's not flesh tone enough for me. Um, the one that's even better when it comes to it being a more flesh tone and disappearing to the skin is, strangely enough, the warm gold um, after powder, which is one that's meant to be used for highlighting. That yellow actual powder, the color of that, actually really disappeared into the skin. If only they actually did this color without any uh, kind of a glitter uh, or shine to it and no highlighting effect to it this will be the perfect one uh, because it really gets sinks into the skin and there's no kind of shades no white cast or anything at all but because of that because it's got glitter in it if you're not interested in having um 
you know something that's glittery uh, or you, if you're not interested in using it as highlighter on your body then don't bother getting this stick with um, the translucent one if you are of darker skin shade uh, or the standard one uh, the no color powder one so that, those are my recommendations they are super cheap both of these ones are super cheap, um, 12 pounds each from Beauty Bay, and I'll put a link for all of them in the description box. And the other one, the Warm Gold a Sparkle one, is uh, 15 pounds. Um, so yeah, I hope that you enjoyed today's video, and I'm sorry that it's a bit of a long one, but hey, there you go. See you later. Bye.